Greetings and welcome back to Little Big Workshop, the Evil DLC. Um, so last time, uh, well, this time I'm Catherine of Sky. I almost forgot to say that. And last time we started a contract for contained alien mold. Yes, and so we're getting our people working on this stuff, and um, hopefully they're going to be okay. I want to check the the happiness factor over here. We have a mood minus six. Wow. Uh, can we buy anything else that's going to be effective in here? Computer mainframe. That would be a nice thing, but those are kind of expensive. The purring cat on the pillow. Yeah. Hmm. Can we afford a thousand? I think we can afford a thousand. Yeah, that's going to bring the mood up to 51. All right. Let's take that. And order it. Boom. There we go. Let's turn this off. Okay. Great. So, it looks like we can't really store these jars. I think we need to create another storage space just for random stuff. Uh, so let's see, if we make a zone here and just make a random jar zone, sure. Yeah, and hopefully if we get a hauler, they'll be able to take those jars in there. Okay, so how are we doing on work things? I think we're okay on the work uh distribution thing okay this one this station needs some more stuff so i'm going to divide this in half and put half over there okay great great good good want to keep those stations operational this one is also needing to divide these in half that was the second part of the thing um of the process <clears throat> so that's looking really good i'm quite happy about this I want to check one thing in our options here. Now, uh, there is a thing. Do we have hide walls, disable seasons? No. Huh. Okay. Yay. I'm actually quite yay about this. So there is a there's an option in the base game that's not in the DLC, it looks like it, to have all of these mini games. And they're just, they're not fun to me. <laughs> and they're boring. And they don't give you any... Um, they don't give you any reward at all. So there's like, it's called serious mode, I think. So I just wanted to make sure I disabled that because I don't really enjoy that at all. But anyway, it looks like we're getting things going. So if you look at this bar here, the uh, blue is our actual progress bar. And, um, or no, well, the whole thing is our progress bar. And the green means that we're ahead of time. So in the estimate, we're supposed to take a certain amount of time, but the green means we're ahead of schedule based on our deadline there. So it's really great to be able to uh, make these things so quickly. Wow, this is interesting. All this mold, contained alien mold. It's crazy. Huh. Very funky. And it doesn't seem to, um, these big jars don't seem to fit on the shelves. So, okay, they're stacking it fairly neatly over there, pretty decently. I'm thinking I might add some shelves in there as well. Whoops, what's going on? No storage space available for big jar, create general storage area. That's going to be this, but I don't really care that much. Okay, now let's check on our... Looks like these guys don't need repair very often, but I'm going to go ahead and just increase their efficiency since we are ahead of time. And just let them do their thing. Those are done. This one is almost done. That one still has 10 processes and that one has two. This one is completely done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shift this entire workload over here. And just uh, let them do their thing. It's good to have the that um, cat on pillow bonus multiplier. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my god, that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. And the fish aren't bad either. They're a bit scary, but yeah, it's fine. Piranha tank. Aw, that's so nice. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Uh-huh. We might get rid of some of these lower level uh, items in here. It depends just how things are fitting together. I think we can probably sneak the cat. Let's move it over here, I think. Yeah, sure. And then here I would love to add another shelf, but I do want to wait until we sell this stuff off. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not going to cost that much. So we'll just get this large shelf over here. Yes, good, good. Order it there and then change this thing to um, resize the zone to include that part of it. Yep. 
Okay, very good. Hooray! So that's going to be just general storage of stuff. I might consider moving this storage area kind of in the middle here. But this has a really nice walking path. You know, these are just very unencumbered. Whereas I probably should leave a little bit more space in front of the workstations because those are red zones where people can't pass by very easily at all. All right, so what's going on here? We have nothing there. This one has just one left. Oh yeah, we're at 19 of 20. Here we go. Wow. Boom. Let's go ahead and deliver this stuff. I don't remember how much money. I hope we're getting something from this. But as we're getting that going, I do want to figure out how these are going to work. I think I would like to make a few more of these guys because the price is very high still on these. Let's make like 10 of them. Sure. Okay, what I want to do though is I want to change these operations and just assign them where we need to. Let's see, I'll try to just, let's see, do this. I was trying to think of like, what's the easiest way to do it. You can either double click on a column or just assign them by type of thing. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. And then we need to assign this cut, the jigsaw cut to here. Let's assign the gluing also to there. And then it looks like we only have one uh, of these stations. What I can do is I'm going to assign it to a, we need to get one of these things. Let's get a billboard. So billboard is going to assign it to multiple workbenches, even if we don't have those workbenches right now. So that's the cool thing about this thing. Uh, let's collect, click these guys. Uh, and assign those to, uh, we didn't assign the billboard yet. <laughs> Sneaky. All right, link this one and that should work for the assembly process. So again, grab these guys, assign them to this thing. Okay, and we're gonna make 10. Um, I don't, uh, should I batch them? Nah, just leave it, it's fine. Sometimes it's easier to read the orders if you don't batch them, but anyway, it should be fine. I hope that we're going to get stuff going soon because that would be really useful. And I'm thinking I might want to even sell these lab stations until we get another contract. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't actually need them yet and we could certainly use the money. Uh, let's see. Evil lab station for 1620. How much did we pay for this? Let's see. Oh, 2700. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What if we... Wait, are those like fully repaired? I want to see if, if we can sell them. I thought it was almost the same amount to sell. But we'll see. Let's look now. Sell. No, 1620. Ooh, wow. All right. That's a bit interesting. Not what I expected. I also, I, I think I'm going to get another assembly station. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy here. Like... There. Sure. Though I could move it the other way. I think maybe. Yeah, let's do this instead. Let's move it this way so we can have easy access to the shelving. And we'll move this one this way. There we go. Yes. Oh, actually, we can move that one up a bit. No, oh, not yet. <laughs> we have to move it and then we can again move it. I am. I want to put another one of these assembly stations. Let's see. Where are they? There we are. Right here. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, no. Oh, sad times. <sighs> All right. Whoops. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Nobody saw that. It's fine. That's fun that that actually works there. Huh. All right. Come on, move it. Move the thing. And we'll put our assembly station over there instead. Just put this like that. Yay. Order this. And I'm going to move this one thing ahead. Like that. Okay. And these are linked to... Is it, it is linked to both still. Okay, that's great. 
and then this guy can link to this one. Now the reason I left a little space here is so we could put one of these plants in there, potentially. Let's see, do you have a big... Yeah, there we go, like this. Yeah, there we go. This fits nicely there. But I feel like we have so many plants, geez. Alright, here we go. Star peeps are gonna just work on this like crazy. What do we got here? We have one evil point. Let's see. Temporary motivator. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Get a boost in morale. We don't really need morale at the moment. I think we're gonna skip that for now. Okay, our peeps are working like crazy getting these different things done, which is great. Kind of feel like I want to expand our workplace somewhat. Well, quite a lot, actually. Let's see if we can add um, to this and see how much it's going to cost. Okay, there we go. Let's add this chunk. Delete that wall. And that's going to cost 1370 Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, hello? Order. Oh, no, it's got a red spot there. Okay, there's something wrong here with this. So let's just try it again. Try it again. Okay, good. And delete this part. Please? Yay, we got it. Okay, good. That's something, at least. Wow, look at these things. These woodworking stations really go downhill fast. I think whenever you get higher level mach machinery, it's much less uh, worry on that score. Oh, we have a new challenge. Rat trap. Create a plan for this. Can we do this right now? Oh, it's a woodworking thing. I guess we could. We only have... We have an evil thingy. Do we have that particular evil thingy? I don't think so. I think we have... Uh, does it show us? Oh, that's the chemical thing. And then we have the little mutation thing. So we would need to buy a machine that does the whole rat thing. Let's see. Is it in here? Yeah, it should be here. We have we can get one of these. So that would cost us three thousand dollars. No, I think it's too much for now. Unless we sell these guys. But then that's going to be kind of reducing our equity because we're gonna lose so much money by selling them. I think it's best to just go for these cabinets and hopefully we can get some of them done. I'm tempted to get another woodworking bench because uh, that would help us quite a lot. We could also get a glue station. That would help us in many ways too. Even though it does it does gluing at 100% and... See, this one is only 25%, but the woodworking station is so much more versatile. Anyway, I don't think we should go below anymore on this. I think we should really just keep it where it is and just have our people work on stuff. Let's see, how do we want to move stuff? I'm thinking we can probably move this thing like there. Yes, and then move this one here. Or not. How is this one? I'm going to try to like puzzle these pieces in here if I can. That one sort of goes there. Arr. That one sort of goes there as well. <laughs> it's like, no. And this one we can just delete, sell this item, yes. Okay, how's it going? Truck is arriving. One of the things we could have done if we batched it, and maybe I'm kind of regretting not doing that right now, is some of the people could have been doing assembly right now. Um, they would do five parts at a time or five, you know, cabinets at a time, and so somebody could actually be working assembly right now. So I'm a bit regretting that at the moment. Let's get this here. Yes. It's plus 20. This is plus 20. Plus 15. Plus 15. Let's see. If we look at this, this though. Alright, the mood is 42. Okay. I'm just trying to like, where do I put all these things? It's like, no, I don't want them here. I guess we can put this one here. Or just do this one right there. Seymour, 
Yes. All right. Hopefully we're going to get to a point where we can actually work on the drawers here. But I think it's just going to feed all the orders in kind of the order they need to be done. So yeah, I really should have done the batching thing because I'm... Uh, we have, you know, employees not doing anything. We have machines that are not uh, working at all. And that's because these guys haven't really uh, got anything there to do. So let's see, what else can we do? We, we have some handles going on. But yeah, I'll just wait till it does its thing. Let it do, do stuff. Oh well. Not good choices, bad choices for the KOS. That's okay. At least we recognize that we can fix it later. It's not a problem. Just doing some tiny repairs there. Idle workstations, idle people. Oh no, the whole world is idle. But soon enough, hopefully we're going to get to working on this. I am a tiny bit worried about the money. That is of no small concern to me. I don't know whether I should click this or not. Oh, I can do this. Oh! <gasps> I can do this actually. Yes. Oh, I can definitely do this. Okay, so yeah, let's do this. Let's change these things. I'm gonna have this one do the first chemical process. This one do the second chemical process. And then these guys will also have them done in turn. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna execute this plan. It's gonna cost us anything. Yeah, material is 840. I hope we I hope we're okay. <laughs> it should be fine. It'll be fine. We're getting one drawer. It's fine. Hooray. I hope that the market doesn't go down on these too quickly. I think it should be okay. It looks like it's holding steady for now. So that's great. It's actually really great. What is this? Oh yeah, we've already made those. Anything that's in green is what you've made a plan to sell. So that's good. Wait, wait, what happened? Your trucker is stressed and soon will start chucking the cargo. Pay attention to the loading bay. Yeah, the problem is we don't have any loaders right now. Oh yeah, there we go. It's just being chucked out and that's not ideal. It'll go kind of like all over the place. They really need uh, people to help them with the unloading. And so we should have a worker to do that. But I don't want to hire anybody just yet. I feel like we're kind of on the edge of things. And we really need to conserve on the money. Aha, we have one dresser, so we can sell that for $15.91. I think I'm going to wait for a second one. There we go. We're going to get the, actually, we're going to get them all very shortly. So just carefully watching that money there. <laughs> and we have five done. Hooray. Okay. But we're leaving this as our priority here. Um, actually, you know what? We should do this as our priority instead. And we can just sell these. We're going to sell these. We're going to deliver these. 11000 which is nice. But now we should be able to get these guys moving along quite quickly here. And then anybody who is bored can work on the drawers. Yeah, we really need to get ahead on this deadline because, see, the red means that we're falling behind. So last time we were quite ahead with the greenness. So we should be able to catch up. And we are catching up, as you see. So that's nice. All right, we did get some money. I do want to hire a... Uh, a hauler. So we'll get one of these people. And maybe we're going to hire another operator. Yeah, why not? So that that person can work on something else. Whatever needs to be done. And the hauler will be able to uh, move these things inside so that our workers don't have to travel so far to get stuff. Oh, this is nice. We have another drawer to sell. And the last one. Hooray! Okay, great. So let's deliver these three drawers. All right, this is looking really good, really good. All right, we now have more money. I want to uh, expand our area as well here. So let's get this, let's delete the wall. Order, there we go. And I think I'm gonna get a third woodworking station. And then maybe we can start on a new batch project of those cabinets, that would be great. Let's do that, in fact. Let's order the woodworking station right now. At the moment, we do not have the ability to... Um, what do you call it? Oh, there we go. 
we don't have the ability to get higher level woodworking stations so it's kind of important that we just kind of you know build up on the basic stuff while we can and uh yeah that'll be good but i think i'm gonna start working on maybe the price is still quite high here so let's go and make another 10, but we're going to batch these instead. And we're going to see the difference in how that works. Now, right now, we only have um, enough employees really to be working on this. Plus, like, I think we have one extra to do the woodworking. And whenever you place a project at the top here, the workers will give it their priority. So at the moment, it's okay if one person just whittles away at the, uh, at the drawer sets. Oh, this is good. I'm feeling good about this. We're going to get another evil point. Hooray! <laughs> We're going to be more evil. Haha. <laughs> oh, there's a birdcage project. Interesting. Should we do this? Get 2,000 experience and one evil point. Hmm. Last time we didn't have enough of those. Let me see this again. Let's look at our... Let's look at a plan for this. Let's see. We have a lot of gluing going on and... We have one machine that needs to do 20 processes, which is the evil machine. So that's six hours to do that. I think we can actually do this. I think it would be fine. Let's just make one of these evil machines. And we'll go ahead and put it uh, on this side of stuff. Let's see. Basic evil machine. <laughs> yes, let's do the thing. Evil assembler. Oh, wow, that's big. That's really big. Hmm. I think if I move this out, uh, no, over here, say, sure. And then I can move one of these plants in here. Yep, that'll be better. Move that there, yes, move this. One over, please, there, yes, good. Now we can get the evil machine, that's the what is this one called? I, I, I don't even know what that's called. Anyway. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. One, one, one. No, don't go too fast. There we go. I want to create this plan. See if it's still viable. All right. Let's choose these guys. Let's use this and this. Does that give us our target? Yes. Three. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. We can choose this to go there. Yes. Order. Wait, I'm not sure if it took. Oh, no, it did not because I didn't order it. All right, and these guys, we are going to assign them to this uh, thingy there. There we go. Okay, very good. So we're going to try to get this done as well. And, oh, can we execute? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let's link this here. That's weird. I thought it was supposed to do the entire line of things there. But it did not, alas. Just did the gluey bits. Anyway, it's fine. We got the whole thing go going. Let's ex execute the plan. Let's move it up a bit. Let's do this one first, and then the rat trap. And then the drawers can just, yeah, hang on the side a bit. Ooh, did I batch that? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so batching, it looks like it's a um, sort of a default option. If you want to or don't want to. Yeah. All right, so the mold should be going off. Oh, wow. Did this guy not get a break point? What happened there? I think we need another break room thingy in here. So let's get a coffee maker. And that will increase our break point recovery. Okay. Oh, oh, come on, people. Work, work it. Work on the stuffs. This poor guy. No, I've lost an employee. Because things. But hopefully we can get this alien stuff done so we can get that paid for. Oh dear. And the trucker is like throwing stuff out. No. <laughs> oh geez. We're a bit behind on the rat trap. This is going to be kind of close. Oh dear. Come on folks. We really need the mold to get going. Please work it. Work it. Oh no, we're behind. Oh geez. We may not get an evil point for this. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot. I wonder if I divided those things up wrong. Let's see. Yeah, I probably did. Alright, well. 
Let's see. We almost have stuff. Come on, guys. Can you make this? No! Your delivery is not satisfactory, Apprentice. If you cannot fulfill the full contract, I grant you. Why should I even bother keeping you around? Do better next time or to make up for your failure or risk eternal damnation. Wow. They just, like, disappeared? Wait, no, he get, did give me some money. Okay, you've earned your first evil points, so you're nefarious deeds. Good, good, good. So we have two, but I want to save them for something down here. Like the decorations. I really want this. Okay. I need to move to the second level of opponent hierarchy. So that's going to be... Okay, we'll throw these out, I guess. E... No. Yeah, I want to scrap them, I think. Whoa. Here we got some rat cages going on. Those are looking fabulous. Look at this. <laughs> the cheese is there and the little cage drops on the rat. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so this is good. Let's go and repair a few of these stations. Just to keep things up and efficient and stuff. So how's this doing? Okay, it has many things to do. But I don't think we have all the parts ready yet. But hopefully we, our people will kind of catch up now that they don't have to worry about the chemical stuff. Okay, that's still working. Alright, very good. Looks like we have people ready to level up, but we don't have anywhere to level them. All the things are locked so far because we need to get more in our R&D tree. So this is, yeah, we need to get, let's see, this one. Yeah, we need more of these points. Okay, and a lot of that is unlocked through the current level progress. Factory level one. Opponents. But a lot of this is unlocked through like number of items crafted and stuff like this. Number of items sold on the market and um, or how much you sell them for. Okay, I'm really hoping that this stuff is going to go quickly. Very quickly. Hello. Wondering if I should get a second one of these, but it does look like we are struggling a bit on the woodworking side of things. Man, I wish I could get more on the woodworking. In um in the original game, the you know pre DLC stuff, um it seemed a lot easier to get to higher levels of factory. So it's like, huh, what what am I doing wrong here? And I think it's just um you know failing that one contract is not great. So that that kind of put us back a bit. And, um, but hopefully these, like, evil things will count toward that. We'll see. Let's see, we have 1,600 right now. And, um, hopefully once we sell these guys, we will be, or 16,000, I should say. Hopefully once we sell these, we'll be in, uh, good, good shape. Look at this. This is so funny seeing them all here. It's quite silly. All right, we are ahead. Happy days are here again. Hooray! So this is good. And you can see the individual pieces and parts as they're stacked on the shelves. It's quite funny and cool. I like it. Oh, 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 stations. We don't want them to go boom. No. Boom is bad. I will also go ahead and um, queue, queue those for repair because it's nice to have them finished and repaired for the next order. Okay, they're going. They're doing things. We're ahead of time. This is good. Ahead of schedule, I should say. Not ahead of time, because being ahead of time would be most interesting, I would suggest. <laughs> most interesting indeed. So, yes. Okay, let's move this guy here. I think, yeah, that should be attended to by, I think, the hauler person. Yeah. And then this plant. I guess I can move it there, maybe. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's automatically picking up. Hooray. So now they can work on the drawers. And I hope the drawers are still reasonably high. Yes, they are. They're still at $15.96, which is a great price. Very happy about that. Okay. Marvelous. These nasty little buggers will come in handy indeed. Well then. Well done. Now back to your mindless droning. Evil points gained 1.2. Experience gained 2,000. Yes, we did get 2,000. Great. Okay, so that's good. That is actually really good. Let's see, does he have something else for us? Okay, we have another evil point. We need to get more net worth. So this is our net worth right now. And we need to go ahead, ahead of these people. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, let's see, no evil quests at the moment, I don't think. Nope, not yet. 
But I'm hoping to sell kind of like these high value items. And maybe we should even get another woodworking bench. Maybe that is something that we need to do. Because we have enough money, why not? Do we have more quests, tasks for these people? Yes, we do. So I think I'm going to buy another woodworking bench. Let's see. You know what? I might buy a glue station. Glue station would be pretty useful and would free up the people from gluing stuff. Let's see. We'll put this one here. Sure. Actually, no, we're going to move that somewhere else. Let's buy a glue station here. Let's put it here. Because I want to have a zone right here. Let's go this, uh, this way. Thank you. There we go. All right. And I want a zone here as well. Okay. Order. Oopsies. I forgot to order things. Okay, there we go. All right, looking pretty good. So then we can kind of distribute stuff around our factory, have our workers drop items once they finish them, and then the hauler can take them to a different location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gluing things. Hello, are there gluing activities? I don't see any. All right, well, <clears throat> I don't know where they've gone, the gluing activities. It's like, whoops. But anyway, they'll go here in our next project. Let's see, what's going on with this? We can do another birdcage thing. Hmm. Create plan. Let's choose the glue things and assign those to the glue station. So that will be freeing that up. <clears throat> this only gives us 4,600 uh, profit, but it's gonna give us another evil point. So we'll go ahead and do that one. And move that one up since the small drawer really isn't in any danger of going away. All right, let's get these guys. And then I think I'm going to get another woodworking station as well. So maybe I'll move this glue station to the side, like there. Sure. And then we'll get another woodworking station. We have so many of these. Normally I only have like three and now this is like four. It's like, wow, many things. Can I order this? Come on. Come on, peeps. Pick it up. Let's go. There we go. Perfect. Order. Grab this station and assign here. More tasks. And I think we'll be able to um, put more people to work. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four woodworking stations and we have five workers. So that's good because one can be in the gluing place or taking a break. But I think we can add one more person. Yeah, there we go. We'll add one more. One more person. See, this one can be improved. Hooray. All right, so we're going to get way ahead on this rat trap. Oh, this is great. Look at this. All the people working all the time. Oh, this is so nice. Yes. This is fun to like kind of optimize this and figure things out and you know see why something is better or not better or whatever it's kind of cool what i do need is i probably need some billboards for these machines but they're in a place that's not really very convenient um i guess what i could do is move them around a bit let's move that one there yes and then move this one here, sure. And then move that one over there, sure, okay. And then I will get, maybe I'll just get billboards anyway for them and then just set them up. Okay, there we go. And another please, where did it go? There it is, okay, good, order. And this billboard will link it to this one and that one. Okay, and then this billboard will link it to this one and that one. Hooray! Good. So that's going to be much easier when we get another sort of alien culture thing. Oh, look at this. We're so far ahead on that rat trap. This is great. Can I sell some of these? I'm going to sell some of these small drawers because I don't want to lose out on the good price for those. 
because it looks like the price is going down a tiny bit. So we're going to sell those. Oh, this is great. We are so far ahead on those rat traps. It's crazy good. People working away, making rat traps, spreading evil all over the place. Hooray! <laughs> Looks like we're very low on break points as well. So I want to add more features to our break room. Oopsies. Um, let's see. Foosball table is four. This is also four. Basically just having stuff here is good. That's a six, of course. We do have the TV and the radio. So we could add the game console here and then add maybe the fridge. Sure. And the foosball table can go in the corner. Sure. Actually, that's not a great place to put it. We should move it. Move it. No. No. There. Okay, good. There. And what else? Evil encouragement. Oh my. How oh, nice. Huh. Propaganda tower. Oh, how nice. This is great. Where did those come from? Why don't I see those normally? Where did... I get... Can I only have one cat on the pillow? Probably. Probably. Hmm. I guess we can put... Oh, does that mean we can only have one set of evil stuff in a room? That could be. Let's see. What are we looking at on this room? Let's order these items first. We're looking at mood four. It is not high at all. It's like really, really kind of at the edge of being terrible, I think. So I might add a, a plant or something. Let's see what we got here. We can add a cactus. Ah, uh, I think this is like one per room. So we should save the computer mainframe because there's no more cat on a pillow. I'm pretty sure that we cannot just, uh, yeah, use that anymore. Let's see, we have one of those already. This is going to be plus four. I guess I could do a bigger one. Plus eight. This one is plus ten. Because I can put that this way. Sure, why not? All right, good. All right, let's do the thing. Let's keep on working. Oh, repair all of these stations. I'm hoping there's an automatic repair option that I haven't seen yet. Somewhere magically gonna be here for us. <laughs> I'm happy that this is really progressing well. We're at 90% completion already. And even the small drawers are getting some attention there, which is nice. Very good, very good. Hey. Oh no, people fell down. Why did they fall down? Huh. There might not be enough places to sit, but it looks like there are. We have the um, the game console here. We have five breakpoints. So there shouldn't be any issue, people. Behave yourselves. Alright, let's go. Pick up an auto. Truck is en route. Let's go. Pick it up. Take it. Take your rat traps. I think I'm going to hire another uh, hauler. Here we go. Because now we're starting to get a bigger, much bigger factory going on here. Oh. That's so strange. The uh, number keys are not working as well as I have been using them. Let's see. Is it... Let us see. Time toggle is space. Okay. Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3. Is that this one? There we go. Okay, it seems like maybe things are going a tiny bit too fast and it's not picking up my keystrokes for some reason. No idea why. Alright. Ooh, level 2. Hooray! We got stuff. This is excellent. Okay. So we got another point here. Another evil point. Let's see. Temporary motivator. Ugh, I just don't want that. I don't really care about that. I guess we could get it. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Temporary motivator. Ah, and we can finally get something here. Wow. Okay, we can get... Let's see. Factory expansion. 
loading bays unlocks plots and additional loading bays that means we can make our factory bigger or we can get market prediction that is incredibly useful to figure out the prices of what's going to happen ahead then we can get metal wood and plastic production but i think probably market oh geez it's hard expansion or prediction we do have this area here i think can we buy this can we like make the big yeah we can make a big room there so let's go ahead and get the thingy thingy the market prediction yeah let's get market prediction sure i love the market prediction thing it's so good all right we're almost done with our assembly stations this is a bit of a mess i do apologize for that but it's because these evil machines they take so much man there are really scary stuff they they cost us a lot in mood so these are minus 14 or are they aren't they more than that no they are they're minus 14 and these are minus 21 for the infernal ritual station and minus 20 for the evil assembler so it's a bit rough on those guys and i think that's where we want to concentrate our times two or times one and a half devices there to make the mood better so i might just put all of those in one room okay those are done all right deliver oh look at this they're gonna go up even more holy fuzzy cats that's great you know what deliver it do it sell the things one of the things i might think about is doing something simple let's look at this virtual reality kit what we need for this what does that need oh it needs um some sewing and what is this metal melting and more something dual handles or joystick one two four oh we should do a joystick that's so retro that's plastic but we need many stations that we don't have for that so i don't really want to do that let's try something else let me just pause because i do want to see what's going on here with the market prices on stuff i want to get something that's incredibly simple to make so we can make like a bunches of them and see if that raises our uh our level progress faster like these what if we made a million of these? Let's plan these. How hard can this be, right? You know? Okay, let's get this stuff. Let's see, we want to go with... Ooh, we need stuff that we don't have for this. Two and two. And it's not enough. The back scratcher is not going to be strong enough. Oh, no. All right, well, we can't make those. We need more materials for those. Okay, Orcish multi-tool is way too low on the price list there. Fancy hat requires sewing. These are being taken over by another uh, producer. So that's not ideal. The Barbara doll is good, but requires plastic. We don't have that yet. Huh. This is so frustrating. Why? Why? All right, let's make a lot of these doll horses and oh we don't have a painting station do we can we ah oh, we need to buy a painting station i guess we could buy one yeah why not we could buy one that's our like finish assembly thingy all right and sure we can use this 210 perfect perfect and we'll just detail assemble this should be super super fast to do these and i just want to see if quantity is going to get us more points than um than the other stuff okay so we want to make let's make 50 of them let's be really ambitious here 50 yay okay are we ready it's going to be crazy but it's fine let's do it it's not very profitable because we're not going to make a lot of money off of this, but it could be good for, you know, quantity. Oh, this is good. Hey, let's get these. We'll create a plan. I think we already did. We do this yet. All right, let's try this. Not sure, but we need to do our little thingy thingies. Hooray. Oh, I forgot about that one. Jeez. All right. That one also needs to be linked here. And we're going to batch them. 
and go. So that's going to go at the top of our list. And then everybody else can work on dollar horses. And it'll be fine. Yes. That's how that's going to work. So we should have enough people to unload all the materials. Oh, we're starting to make dollar horses. Great. Good, good, good. Oh, this is great to see all the machines working, all the people working, doing their stuff. Hooray. I'm wondering if I should make like a small room here with evil machines and like have this bigger room for regular machines and then kind of optimize the decorations in the evil room so that, uh, yeah, they, it's a little bit better. Okay. Hello. All right. Let's see. All workers close by get a boost of morale. All right. Let's use this guy. Let's try this. Choose a location on the factory floor for the domineering bringer of effectivity and speediness. Hooray! Let's put them right there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, there's no storage room for the dollar. Oh, whoa! This is a bit wild. Hello? Okay, I can't click on him, so it looks like you can't move him at all. But that's okay. Hopefully our people will find somewhere to put all these jars and stuff. It'll be fine. We just need more space. I feel like maybe I should remove this shelf and just leave some of that storage area for storage area instead. Yeah, so they can put more stuff here. There they go. They're just putting all kinds of stuff here. Wow, that's very loud. Goodness me. Well, they're, they're making stuff. They're building things. Hooray. Oh, I got a an achievement for workplace encouragement. Hooray. I really want to get to like the next level of stuff. I think we'd ha we need to just make products that make us money. These dollar horses are okay, but they are not very good price wise for us. But they are quantity, so maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I'll have to kind of look at that. See, how are we in opponent land? We're getting closer to the next level, which is great. I feel like I should put off maybe the evil challenges and just focus on more factory stuff, like more money making stuff. But we are doing really well on this alien mold stuff. That's excellent. Hooray. Breakpoints are absolutely fine. We have so much breakpoint generation. It's 34 per day right now. Oh, now we have the rat thing. <laughs> All right, leave off your evil stuff. We want to just do do other things. Another thing I could do is move the machines into another room that's enclosed where they don't have to experience them. So we get a much higher mood boost in here. That's also available. But that's very sort of micromanagey. Okay, this is working pretty well. I'm thinking about using a space over here to do that with and just like enclose a new space. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... Well, we'd have to move this thing if we don't take the wall down. Because we'd have to have a door to the next room. So I think what I'll do is I'll remove one of these storage areas, maybe. And get that going. Gosh, look at how far ahead we are on the mold. Dang. And Dollar Horse, we don't actually want to sell it until the price goes a bit higher. Because that will be more beneficial to us, obviously, if the price is higher. Unless we run out of room. I do like the dollar horses. They're quite cute. They're little painted ponies. Hooray. All right, let's go and pick up the mold. Pick up the mold. Yes. Gosh, there's so much stuff here. All right. Evil points gained. 1.26 experience gained. 2100. It's nice, though. It is nice to get new stuff. We now have four evil points. We need to get more factory points. We can level up our our thing. I would really like to get proper woodworking stations instead of these kind of like basic benches. Oh my gosh, look at all these horses multiplying over here. Jeez. You would think that they would just stack them along the back wall and so they wouldn't have to, you know, walk on top of them. It's a bit silly. All right. It's good though. They are making stuff. Want to see how many points this gets us. 
hopefully on into the next thing. But I am looking at our time, our IRL time, and it seems like we're going to have to end on a cliffhanger. I uh, will <laughs> continue this saga of the Dalla Horse in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>